Broncos, Lions, coming up on EA Sports as we come to you today from Detroit, Michigan for today's game. I don't know which team has the better tight end, but I do know that that could very well be the difference in this game today. Well, if you made me choose between the two, I'll tell you what. I'll just say you take one. I don't care who you take. I'll take the other one because they're both that good. They can do it all. As I say, you hear me say it every once in a while. They're all in one. That means they can do anything you want. Anderson's lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. First down at the 29. Hand off. And this will end up as a two-yard loss. The Broncos offensive coordinator, he has to be frustrated by that play. I think he calls the right play. But what happens is the run loses yards. That's just a bad job by the offensive line. Leads us to second down. And it's grabbed by Latimer. Tackled down right around the 48. That's a good job by the receiver running the drag route across the field. These are not easy throws for the quarterback, but he sticks it right on him for the completion. The line of scrimmage, the 48. This play set up by the long gainer. The Broncos all bunched up here as they get set at the line. Walker's there that time for the tackle. I know they want to come out and establish the run, but boy, this defense right now is not bending. Uh, they're doing a good job so far, the defense, but on the offensive side, stay patient, keep pounding that football, and hopefully you can wear this defense down as the game goes along. Second down following the run. The Broncos come out in the pistol. Almost made the catch, but the collision jarred it loose. Here's a look at the offense, and watch out today for Demarius Thomas, who is tremendous after the catch. Well, we have this phrase that we say, and we mean it adoringly. Demarius Thomas is a beast, absolutely on the outside. He can run by you, he can run around you, he can fake you out. He just has everything you want in a wide receiver. Third and nine. A nice grab. No doubt he was going to hold on to that one. Touchdown! And the early momentum in their favor as that touchdown puts them in front here in the first. Oh, I love that word, momentum. The big Mo, and big Mo was on their side. That is a great thing to have and a good feeling as a football team. Inside of the uprights. is going to run this one out. 
able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. The Lions at the line of scrimmage. Split backfield. The Lions take it from the 23. Marshall's going to make the tackle. Golden Tate is getting better by the year in this league. Well, it's one good thing to have some attitude on the defensive side, but when you get attitude on the offensive side, that is a big plus, and that's Golden Tate. He is just one tough wide receiver. The Broncos with a nickel look here on defense. The Lions have it at the 24. Good throw and good catch right on the sideline. Uh, there's nothing the defense can do. When you talk about a receiver like these guys out there now, and, and this one in particular, the double coverage, they're still able to go in between the defenders, rise up, and make the catch. The Lions go with two tight ends on this play. First down and ten. To the outside, Bell. And now they'll be on the other side of the 50 after this play. You're running back in this league and you pick up first downs. If you don't fumble the football, I promise you one thing, you're going to get more carries. Football rest at the 44. Matthew Stafford from the shotgun. Great grab there. Stags it with one hand. Penny Cruz is going back to the huddle. He's telling everybody, look up at the jumbotron and let's watch a replay of me making that spectacular catch. Coming to the line at the 30. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. Midway through the first. Bell up the middle. For the defense today, one of the best shutdown corners in the game today, a key to lead. Yeah, he is. Uh, I think he's one of the top corners in the National Football League. And what makes him so unique, of course, he can cover receivers anywhere on the field, but he has great size for a corner. That makes him doubly tough to go against. Second and eight. And off the mark on that short throw. The receiver's open coming across the field, but sometimes these short throws are tough, and the quarterback throws it too far in front. This is third down. Press coverage all the way. The Lions will set up. The 20 is the first down line. Stafford from the gun. Should have had it, but the hit knocked it out. Tate's really hit hard that time. And I know the football hit his hands, but when a defender times it perfectly like that, with that much power and speed going into that receiver, you are going to let that football go. That's human nature. Really good job by the defensive player. This will be a field goal attempt from 45 yards out. No good. No good. Being down this early, you're looking for anything positive, and that miss hurts even more. Absolutely it hurts. You're leaving points on the field. 
and it takes a lot of hard work to just get an opportunity to get some points, and you miss a kick, man, that's disheartening. The Lions lined up in the nickel. Anderson's lined up directly behind the quarterback here. Jones is able to read that play and make the hit. The Lions guessed right on the defensive side that time. They thought it was going to be a run play. They were all over, and they got it in the backfield and made the tackle. It's second down now, right around three minutes remaining in the first. Manning's lining up in the pistol. The quarterback's picked up on something. He's changing the play here. Second and 13. Emmanuel Sanders has the catch. Set up now at the 42. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Set up screen. Good work by the defense. This will be a loss of three. Well, we see it more and more. Football thrown behind the line of scrimmage. They do it that time. Nice catch, but a loss of yards on the play. Coming to the line at the 45. Manning standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. The ball is charred out of his hands. He's one of the leaders of this defense, DeAndre Levy. Well, if you close your eyes and you're watching this defense and you hear somebody makes a tackle, uh, it's probably going to be Levy because he is everywhere. Man, he is sudden as a linebacker, and he makes a lot of tremendous plays. That last pass incomplete, and it brings up third down. The Broncos come to the line, and they put their receivers in a bunch formation. Manning's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Oh, and almost picked off that time. The Broncos really don't have much of a chance of picking up this first down. It's third and long. Of course, the defense is looking for passes down the field. They're all over everything, and the pass goes incomplete. A punt just like it was drawn up. And now the defense has them backed into the corner. The offense pinned back in an awful position. Bell is in the backfield. Bell's taking the handoff. Marshall's all over that offense and brings him down. Second down, tough field position here. Second and ten. And it's batted down. Well, there's no doubt what to do in a situation like this. You do not take a chance and, and put your team in a position where they have to make a big comeback in the second half. Backs 
to the wall on third down. The Broncos sat at the line. Dime package. Third and ten. Comes down with no. The defender tips it out. This defense off to a terrific drive. going and right now the defense has all the money because they're the ones getting it done the Lions call on the punting team no return here as he makes the fair catch the Broncos bringing their offense onto the field. It wasn't a very productive possession for them last time out, partner. They ended up punting. Well, you know what it was? It was a good feeling out process. So they got some knowledge by watching the defense and what defenses they tried on them. So you've got to take advantage of that knowledge and come out here and make some plays. The Broncos come out. Jumbo package on the field. The Broncos take it from the 43. Toss play. Space to work. Good yardage picked up on that call. What a good job by the running back that time. He reads the blocks very well, and he picks his way through there and picks up a first down. That's, that's nice. Set up now at the 28-yard line. The corners are going to meet the receivers right on the line of scrimmage. For about four. Not a whole lot of scoring here as we welcome you back to the action. Second down after going to the ground game, the first play. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. DeAndre Levy with the sack. Outside linebackers in the NFL, they are such tremendous athletes. They can do everything. How about that play that time? Good move, good speed, gets to the quarterback and gets a sack. to the line at the 31 yard line quarterback sees something in his defense he wants to take advantage of complete to Cody Latimer he's brought down that's going to bring up fourth down I think that's playing it pretty safe throwing that short pass on third and long I thought he had a chance to throw it down the field he just couldn't pull the trigger and let it go it converts on the three. Everyone knows they were looking for seven on that trip, but they add the field goal and have a nice little cushion here early in the second quarter, Phil. I agree with what the coach did there that time. That was a good job. Get the three points and keep everything rolling your way and put doubt into your opponent's mind. Running room. So that generous kick return sets up the offense now in good position the lions offense is on the field hoping to erase the memory of their last drive which was completely unproductive a quick three and out yeah it was i don't know if they can erase this defense this defense is pretty good we saw that in the last drive and they got good players and they're pretty excited so this is going to be tough on the offense first down at the 16. Gains about three. He's averaging about four yards a carry. Bell's never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. It 
It's now second down and seven after the three-yard rush. The Broncos' defense now is going to go nickel. Stafford's going to take it from the gun. And it's spotted away. Things get tight down here in the red area. I got to give the defensive man a lot of credit, though. In position, sees the ball thrown, and is able to get that hand up there and knock it down. Third and seven coming up. Stafford's back in shotgun formation. The pass is off the mark, and that's a three and out. Got to give the secondary credit. In this passing league now, it's hard to make plays, but a good play there and another incomplete pass. And the kick is good for three. That field goal narrows the gap here in the early part of the second quarter, Phil. Yeah, it was a good drive, Jim, that time. It's a morale booster. It gives you energy and did everything for your football team. I know it was just a field goal, but I thought it was very important for the football team. And he's out across the 20 and tackled at the 21. The Broncos stepping back onto the field to get this next drive underway. Their previous possession was a field goal. Yeah, I think they feel good about that field goal. They made some good plays, and they got down there, and they moved the football, and they, they got in position where they could kick the field goal. Now you take the knowledge that you gained from that last drive, use it, and try to go down there now and score a touchdown. They've got to be wondering, though, can they finish off a drive today? The Broncos line up. Been a tight first half. The score's 10-3. to three. First down at the 21. Manning's unable to connect that time. Incompletion by the quarterback that time. It was good, tight, man-to-man -man coverage. After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. The Lions with two extra defensive backs in the dime. Anderson's going to take the handoff now. Picks up about two. Nice job that time by the defense. They were ready for the run. Nowhere for the running back to go. And they stop him for a short game. After that run, third and eight for the offense. The Broncos will line up. The first down markers right at the 31-yard line. Doesn't like what he sees on the defensive side, so he is changing the play to the receivers by giving him hand signals. First down here. Double tight end formation. Manning with the give. He's taken down at the 42. Nice run that time. You run the football like this over a period of time. It's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. now second down and five after running it on first down the Lions defense brings in an extra member of the secondary they'll go nickel midway second quarter they'll go ground 
and picks up maybe three or four. Good job of the defensive line standing in there and fighting, and they hold the running back to a short game. That last play was a run. Third down coming up. Manning's lined up. Two tight end set. Anderson's going to secure the handoff. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. Third short. I don't know what you do anymore. I've given up. Do you throw it? Do you run it? Do you have that kind of faith in your offensive line? Well, the offense does. They run the football. Great job by the offensive lineman. Giving that running back a chance to get that first down. First down here. Thomas is handed the football. Nowhere to go as this will be a loss of three. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Anderson's lined up in a single back formation. Second down and 13. Almost intercepted. Manage the football game. That's what you have to do as a quarterback. You're winning a close game in his third long. Well, manage it. Know what to do. Don't force the play here. If it's not there, throw it away and just punt the football. After the incomplete pass, it's third down. Manning out of the gun. Looking across the middle. Underneath and incomplete that time. The Broncos don't have a lot of options. A third and long situation. The pass goes incomplete, and the defense did a good job of staying back there and not giving up the deep throw. That punt sets up the defense now in excellent position as they're able to down the football inside the 10. Tough starting field position here. The Lions are at the line of scrimmage with a pair of backs split behind the quarterback. Stafford in shotgun formation. Matt Stafford to who else? Calvin Johnson on his way. The 20, the 10. Nobody was going to catch him there. Touchdown. Heading toward halftime. And the complexion of this game certainly has changed as they've now tied it up with the touchdown. Yeah, you, it, when you're tied up in halftime, you don't know how to look at it sometimes. Are we doing great? Or are we not playing well enough to be winning? So each team, each coach has to go in there at halftime and give his team some new ideas. The Broncos back deep, ready to receive. Broncos didn't get much out of that last drive, so now here they come again on offense. I'm sure they're going to be a little bit more of an urgency to the offense this time. Well, I'll just say this to you, Jim Nance. I sure hope so. After that last drive, that was just too generic. Wasn't very well thought out, and they got to change what they're doing on the offensive side. Got to give that defense a little credit, though, don't you? Well, yeah, the defense did its job, but man, that was pretty easy. Thomas got the catch and the first.
It's all about decision making now as they work out of the hurry up offense. Yeah, it's really up to the quarterback. Make sure they watch the clock. Don't get a sack and don't get tackled in bounds. Make sure you give the message to all your teammates. They went with the ground game on first down, bringing up second. KC's got it on the handoff. The defense looking for one more stop here on third down after that run. Reaches out and grabs it. Then picks up about three. The Broncos have been involved in a tightly contested game to this point. And on offense, it's the passing game that's been good. Manning's looked in control of the offense to this point. Hard to believe this game was tied when you watch the offense and the quarterback. They are hot. They're throwing the football. They're making it work. And we'll see if they can get ahead with another drive. Second down now. They're changing things here. The quarterback changing. He's, he's giving the receiver some new instructions. Incomplete. The hit jarred the ball loose. Sanders is one of those guys. If he drops a pass or makes a mistake on the field, he doesn't make excuses. He knows no matter what the circumstances are, if you get your hands on the football as a receiver in the NFL, everybody expects you to make the catch. The Broncos have it at the 44. And it's knocked down. No surprise. It's another third down stop. And this has been a first half where both of these defenses have had the upper hand, Phil. Yeah, it's been physical. It's been fast. And it's been good. Now I'm talking about the defenses on the offense. The best thing they've done is not make a major mistake to put their team in a hole. So the second half is going to be interesting to watch. Kicking team gets down there and downs the ball. The Lions offense ready to continue its recent run here as they've scored the last two times they've had it, Phil. Well, let's look at it from the defensive side. You know, what do you think they're thinking? Oh, my gosh, what's coming next? Because everything the offense has tried so far has worked. First down with their backs to their own end zone. Bell is in the backfield. Stafford with the give. The defense, when they have you backed up against your own end zone, they're expecting you to run the football. They were ready, and they stopped the team for a short game. Heading to the break with both defenses winning their side of the ball. We've got a tie game at the intermission, and Larry Ridley's coming up with the highlights. Stafford will lead his offense back onto the field here as this goes for a touchback. The Lions' offense will try to set the pace early here in the second half with this game tied, Phil. Yeah, they're going to try to set the pace, but look, on the other side, this defense is aggressive. It's tough. I think the defense is going to get after them and maybe cause a turnover right here. Miller's the one who made the big stop. The Lions running back that time. He makes a bad decision. You can't be looking to make every play a big play when you're running the football. Look for a few yards. Take advantage of that. He tries for the big play. What happens? He gets tackled for a loss. The Broncos with a nickel look here on defense. Stafford's got it in the gun. 
Tate, the target, with the catch. Shakes off the hit. And Tate is brought down. Well, as you saw that receiver make the catch, I'll just say this. You cannot throw the football enough his way. Uh, there's no such thing. When in doubt, you don't like anything, turn and find him and throw it to him. This next play coming from the 47-yard line. After the long game, let's see what they do here. Bell's out there to receive the screen pass. And that's good for only a yard or two. Well, the only thing I can say about that play, it was better than the incompletion. The quarterback gets the completion, and they pick up a yard or two. Stafford's completion percentage, 50% on the day. That little throw was good for only three, so it's now second down and seven. Outside now on the toss. Ball at the 47. The Lions will look to get to the 37 to pick up a first down. Third down and 10. Riddick makes the reception. Harris, the one who brings him to the ground. The Lions on their offensive play sheet. They don't have many plays for third and long situations, but that is a really nice job that time by the offense, the quarterback. They pick up the first down. That'll get you going. Stafford's now completed four in a row. First down at the 32. Bell up the middle. Vaughn Miller ends the play. Bell is trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short game. the 31 here we go Matthew Stafford from the shotgun Brandon Pettigrew with the catch Brandon Pettigrew like so many tight ends in this league now big strong and fast and he's got a quarterback who knows how to get the football to him Third down on the way. Stafford from the gun. Diving grab and give him the catch. Well, he's got talent. This receiver can make the catches when you throw it his way. And I think his talent, the way offenses are designed, and the rules of the NFL... It makes guys like him almost unstoppable. Breaking huddle at the 15-yard line. Always manage the football game. you got to be thinking about it all the time if you're the quarterback. It's a tie game. You're down in here in the red zone. Be careful with the football. You at least want to get three points out of this. Second down coming up. And Pettigrews, the receiver, sent out wide to the left. Stafford standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. And it's batted down. Uh, it's a nice play that time by the defense. The offense is inside your red zone. You've got to stop them from scoring. That was a good job of swatting the football away.
play after play after play here on this drive. Third and 12. Touchdown, Lions. Johnson's second touchdown of the game. Well, we're talking about some of the fastest humans on earth. And we take into account you can't touch them or breathe on them. That's how they're able to get open and make so many catches. The Lions getting ready for the kickoff. And he'll start his return. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. The Broncos talk things over at the intermission. And I'm sure one of the first orders of business was to try to figure out a way to get this offense going, Phil. Absolutely. That's what you want to do. And I think you do that by play call. So the coach, they have many plays that we call drive starters. Catch the defense by a surprise. They need to call one of those right here and right now to get this offense going. Manning's got two tight ends on the field for this snap. Looking to go deep. And he knocks the ball out of his hands. Well, sometimes when you have a talented receiver, you just got to put up in plays like that. He might drop a few, but when he does catch it, they can make a big play. Anderson's lined up as the single back. Manning set in the pistol. The Broncos from the 22. Anderson's marked down after a gain of four. Got to give a lot of credit to the defense. They were all over the run that time, and they only give up a short gain. After that last run, it sets up third and six. The Broncos come to the line. First down marker is at the 32. Manning from the gun. Payton over to Thomas. And it'll be cold quit back to punt. get this drive started the last time they had it Phil it was a touchdown and they got all the way to the end zone mainly through the air yeah they did it through the air they got good protection you know we love what the quarterback is doing but how about the wide receivers and everybody catching the football separating from the defender and they're getting some easy throw and catches out there the Broncos lined up in the nickel The Lions have it at the 34. Incomplete to lead was in the vicinity. the 34 66 yards from pay dirt Stafford's gonna take the snap from the shotgun Vaughn Miller gets to the quarterback it is truly a bonus when you can take your outside linebacker and let him rush the quarterback and he can get a sack nice job that time by the outside linebacker Third down. Stafford in shotgun formation. Got hit on release. 
The Lions put themselves in a situation where the defense has all the advantage. They know the pass probably has to go down the field on third and long, and they were ready for it. And so now they'll call on Martin to punt the football away. We'll see what he can do here. Games 15. What a good job by the punt returner at that time. He caught it, didn't panic. He waited. He saw the blocking in front of him, made some good decisions, and a good punt return. The Broncos got absolutely nothing out of their previous possession, and here they are back on the field. Another three and out, I would have to think, would be very demoralizing to this team right now, Phil. Yeah, it's going to be demoralizing to the offense, but I'll tell you who's going to be more demoralized is the defense because they need to sit on the sidelines and get a little rest. So I know there's a lot of pressure on this offense right now. They'll run it here. And Lawson's all over the ball carrier. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Second down coming up. The quarter is about to end. One more play first. Sanders has got it. First down. The Broncos are rolling after a huge gainer at the end of quarter number three. Coming to the line at the 27. First down following the long play. This would be ruled incomplete. Didn't get the feet down. Second down after the incompletion. Final quarter underway now with this snap. And it's spotted away. Yep, a, a careful. You can throw that out the window. Now it's time to be aggressive, take a chance, and put the defense on edge. Can you do that and give your team a chance to still win this game? scrimmage the 27 Peyton Manning from the shotgun Green's got the catch and the first the Broncos good job that time moving the chains picking up that first down and Jim of course there's no time to panic in a situation like this I think they know that it's in the second half you got you're, you're down just a few points just keep looking for ways to get another first down and that'll serve your team well Manning's completion percentage 50 percent on the day anytime your team is down you're inside the other team's red zone you look for one of your star players your quarterback wide receiver or running back they need to make a big play here well they always say if you get your hands on the football you got to make the kicks yeah right the guy that made that rule up wasn't getting hit as he was trying to catch the football. Nice hit that time by the defender. Set up now at the 12-yard line. Playing press coverage to the outside. Second down and 10. It's the old counter play. Looking at third down. The quarterback, 
He's changing the play with the wide receiver with those hand signals. The reception by Sanders. A timeout, charge to the offense. A short field goal try on the way. The kick is good. And that field goal should help to make this an entertaining fourth quarter. Well, I have no doubt it's going to be an entertaining fourth quarter, but I thought the coach should have not tried the field goal there that time. I would have gone for it on fourth down and tried to get seven points. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. The Lions' offense failed to muster a single first down the last time they had it. Let's see if their offense this time can create a few sparks. Well, you know the coaches were upset at them when they went to the sideline. So the sense of urgency is there. You should be fired up, and I expect a better drive this time. The Lions now march to the line. Tightly contested game here in the fourth. The score's 17 to 13. First down at the 24. Set up screen to Bell. Marshall's able to read that play and make the hit. Quarterback should have never thrown at that time. Even though he completes the pass, he should have seen the defense was right there. A loss of a couple yards. The Lions come out with a split backfield. Quarterback likes what he sees out there outside. He's changing the play with the wide receiver. Matthew Stafford looking long, but it's incomplete. Great situation to be in for the defense right here. It's third long, and even though their team is losing the game, you could get after the quarterback and hope you can find a way to force a turnover. Third down following the incompletion. The Lions need to get to the 34 for a first down. Stafford's going to take it from the gun. Unable to complete that one. And that's a very quick three and out. All set to punt here. Signals right away. Fair catch. The Broncos put some points on the board on the previous possession. Although it was just a field goal, Phil. They'll be looking to add some more right here. Oh, absolutely. I think they were disappointed in that last drive. You got it going. You think here comes a touchdown and it doesn't work. And you kick a field goal. So a little disappointed. That should give them some momentum to get tougher and make this happen and get a touchdown. Manning comes out in the pistol. 
The Broncos snap it at the 36. Has it right on the sideline, inbounds. The Broncos just picked up a big first down that time, Jim. When you're down in the second half, every first down is crucial. Nice job that time by the offense. First down at the 50. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. Back in shotgun formation. The pass is complete to Thomas. The football just inside the 40 at the 39. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. They're setting up screen. The hit knocks the ball out incomplete. Good anticipation that time by the defender. He gets to the receiver just as the football is arriving, and he makes a beautiful hit to knock the football loose. This will be second down. Anderson's taking the handoff. And he's going to be tackled right around the 37. He's averaged about two yards a carry on the day. Third down now. Looks like they're in press coverage here. The Lions' defense now is going to go nickel. He'll throw it over the middle. Look at that concentration as he makes the grab. The Broncos did a good job that time picking up the first down. Let's look at the situation. You're behind in the second half. You keep looking to pick up those first downs, and, you know, you get enough of them. What does it do? Pretty simple. It leads to a score. This game is not over, but the quarterback knows that time is short, and his team must do something. Man, intercepted! No one's going to get him now. Now at the 40, the 30, the 20, the 10, touchdown! you got to love a defense. He's not afraid to take chances, and this defense will get after it. That time, they get the interception and return it all the way for a touchdown. The Lions line up now for the point after. And the extra point is good. The Broncos back deep, ready to receive. He'll take it from the one. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. 
The Broncos have to still be thinking about that last possession. They were actually moving down the field. And then, of course, the untimely interception ended things. Yeah, the defense, look, they got good players. And, you know, you give them enough chances, they're finally going to make the play. You have to be careful with the football. The offense was not. And that's why it resulted in an interception. What do you think they're talking about on that huddle after that drive-killing interception? They're, they're probably telling the quarterback, if you do that again, we're going to kick you out. I don't know. And they get the sack. Well, you expect defensive ends to get sacked because they come around the outside. But when you get pressure from the inside and the defensive tackle gets a sack, that's just an added bonus. Two minutes to go before this one's in the books. Second down, late in the fourth quarter. The Lions defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. Manning's got it in the gun. Launches it down the field. The defender able to knock it away. Well, the most common thing that most offensive coordinators do in the NFL on third long situations, they're going to call a play where they probably don't think they're going to pick up the first down, but they're looking for field position. Coming up. Third down, a huge moment. Manning out of the gun. Had it for a moment, but then lost it on the hit. Latimer was really hit hard that time. I know the football hit his hands, but when a defender times it perfectly like that, with that much power and speed going into that receiver, you are going to let that football go. That's human nature. Really good job by the defensive player. Crucial play here. Fourth down on the way. Manning from the gun. Going deep. Looking for Demarius Thomas. Tough catch. Well, don't look at the scoreboards, which tells you you're down by a couple scores. Just concentrate on every single play and try to get another first down. Manning's completion percentage, 50% on the day. Could have been intercepted. Second down coming up. Time, obviously, a factor the rest of the way. Dropping back now into the shotgun. Throws the pass. Two hands on the football and has the catch. First down. Pressure on every snap now. Good job by the offense going to hurry up offense. You do this to get the plays in, but also you want to conserve the timeouts. For the sack. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. They'll go right to the hurry up. Won't use a timeout here. They'll go to the hurry up here as the clock runs. Looking across the middle, locked in on the football and has hold of it with two hands. Now on first down, every snap crucial the rest of the way. Won't huddle now. Gonna conserve the timeout and rush back to the line. First down, pressure on every snap now. Now he's going to change the play and look out. I think he's going to go down the field with the football. Jarring hit that time. Knocks the ball free. Good timing by the defensive player that time. He gets to the receiver just as the football is getting there and makes the hit, knocks that football loose. Peyton Manning from the shotgun. He'll throw it over the middle. And 
This is a crucial third down play coming up. The Lions with a nickel look here on defense. Manning out of the gun. Chip shot here. Drives it through for the field goal. What's the strategy here, Phil? They put up the points with the field goal. Do you go ahead now and try the onside kick? You know, Jim, you won't believe this, but this is one time I'm actually going to agree with you. I would not be opposed to having an onside kick here. Well, I don't think they had any choice. They had to go for the onside kick there. And really, the kick is just not good enough to give his, his teammates a chance for recovery. And now the game is probably over. The Lions offense comes out for what is, in essence, just a kneel down or two to make this one official. And, Phil, what a sweet moment it is for that bunch of players right there. Oh, yeah, a lot of smiles on the offensive side as you walk out on the field. And it's just, you think about it this way. A tough week of work, all the preparation and the practice, and you came through and got it done and enjoyed the moment. It was a close one, and at the final whistle, what a win for that one team. It sure is. What a, what a thrill to win a close game in the NFL. Uh, you think about it, how hard it is just to get one win and how tough it was out there. And hang on, man, great feeling. So for Bill Sims and all the crew at EA Sports, Jim Nance saying so long.